Jesus. And the white bearded man said, I will pay you 30 pieces of silver. So Judas, he took the money and he made a plan. But meanwhile, Jesus, he was chilling in the garden and he was praying and his homies, they were sleeping in the background. Jesus prayed, Father, if it is your will, I am ready to give my life so that all the people who trust in me will be saved from their sins. But Suddenly, Judas arrived with some soldiers. Peter, he wanted to protect Jesus, but Jesus said, No, no, I must allow this to happen. So his homies, they ran away, and the soldiers, they arrested Jesus. And they took Jesus to the leaders. The leaders said, You say you are the Son of God, but we do not believe you. So the soldiers took charge of Jesus and made him carry a big wooden cross. They, they took him to a place called the Skull or, or Golgotha and there they pinned him to the cross. Jesus then died on the cross and everyone was so, so sad, but they forgot something important. Jesus has said that he will be back very soon. When Jesus died, his homies, they placed him in a big tomb and shielded it shut with a large round stone. And the soldiers, they guarded the tomb. But three days later, the earth, it shook. Wait, wait, one moment. There is a little pause in that story that nobody wanted to talk about. But I will. The moment the earth was shaking and the tomb was opening, the, a little bunny came out. Yes, he was hopping around and he was hungry. So the first thing this little bunny did was capture a small child. And he, he ripped out the heart of this teeny tiny child and he 
He took it back to his tube and he started eating. He started eating the heart of a child. And I know many of you do not believe it, but I will show you the actual footage because I was there. I threw the first rock at Jesus' head. <laughs> yes, and I will show it to you right here, right now. Here we go. Look, here is Jesus. He just came back to life. He took the form of a little body. And he went outside, he took, the, he took the heart of a child, and he took it back into the cave. And now he's eating. He's eating the heart of a child. Look, he is so ruthless. Look at him. He is so, he's so hungry. Jesus is back, children. Run for your lives because he will eat your heart. You see? You see? It is Jesus. He came back as a buddy. Eat the heart of a child. And when, when he was done finish, finishing eating the heart, he did something, and then he went out of the tomb, and, and, well, just, let's, let's, let's get back to the story, okay? Let's go back to the story. Let's go. And then, I came down from heaven, and I pushed the stone away from the tomb, and I was just sitting there. And then the soldiers, they saw me, and they fell to the ground. Because they have never seen my face. And then Marie and her bitches, they were walking towards the tomb. And they saw me, Bane Pope. And I said, do not fear, for Jesus is not here. He has risen. Now go tell Peter at his home that Jesus is alive. And on, on the way, the bitches, they saw, they saw Jesus. And they, they dropped to the floor and they started puking. And Jesus just smiled and he said, tell my sheep when I'm back, bitches. So Marie ran and went to tell the homies that Jesus is back. Yes. So there you have it. The story of Easter. And... I want to ask you, when, when Jesus went back on the earth and he, he met Marie and her bitches, what did you see? Did you see a man or did you see a bunny? Because if you saw a man standing there, then you are not, you are not faithful, you are, you are not a believer, you are not real, you don't have it in you to see the true form of Jesus. But if you saw a body, then you are worthy. Then you see the true face of Jesus. He died, he came back, and he became a shapeshifter. He can take the form of a man and of a body, and he chooses, he chooses to take the form of a body, like this one. This one right here. Jesus is back. He, he turned into a bunny. And now he's pooping egg-shaped brown little turds. And children, they will try and find it. Because he likes to poop everywhere. <laughs> and the children, they, 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 they find it. And they eat it. And yes, this is the true story of Easter. My brain pop. So to all, I wish you all a happy Easter and be kind to your body because you never know if it's just a real body or Jesus. Splendid Easter everyone. This was me, your God, your Savior, your Pope, Pebble, and your service. Now go find your chocolate eggs, children, and beware, for Jesus will come for your heart and eat it. Ta-ta!